Hello there, it's the Zodiac, and we're back with Night of Lotus. Last time we had, last time we had an account, a random encounter. Today we're going to be going to Salia, which is our destination. Fight it out. Fight it out. A lonesome Eleanor by the sea seashore. Uh oh, Eleanor is bleeding. Oh no, the, 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 the churchman is bad. Almost, almost like Lotus is bad or something. No, she's not. She's done. She tried to convince you to torture a, a living being, even on the good, the good route. Alphonse, I mean, the uh, Gaston is a huge dick. What a piercing question, Eleanor. His son doesn't understand at all because he is a 15-year-old idiot. The good guy path, where we bumble screw our way into killing mermaids and insulting girls who like us. Oh, hi, Sybil. Oh, oh no. The white fang troops are here. Thanks for warning us, I suppose. Hmm, that's a lot of dragons. And also, someone with fancy armor. Car cyst. Uh-oh, Father Hammond sold her out. Bertho wants her. Yes, we do, Carsis. We are a knight right now. And, uh, let's take a look at all of our enemies, shall, shall we? Also, yeah, Gaston has to start off here. Our army is over here. It's interesting, at least. Makes sense. So, we got Barbara, who is an archer who ends up right next to, uh, Eleanor. He's got basic equipment, other than the dragon gem that we could get if we recruit her, because her drop is the Sherwood hat, which is a legendary hat that we will talk about, part of the Enchanted Hunting Warehouse. We will talk about that at a later time. And Tarsus, who is of course the leader, he is a dragon. Also known as Dragon Slayers, these powerful male warriors can overwhelm dragons or any creature for that matter. And those are the requirements for being a dragon. a dragon. a dragoon, right, that's what they're called. Dragon Scale is an emblem. We'll need to take a look at that. 
honors one who slays at least five dragons required to change the current Radun, but the crest of dragons will be lost. So Radun's do extra damage to dragons and have an aura that makes dragons less good. So we're not going to be taking Terrapath on this mission, obviously. Also, this guy's got Plate Mail, which is just good armor, and Fafnir, a, a very powerful sword that is even stronger against dragons. Dog, you get it. You hate dragons. Also, oh my, oh god, he's level 15. I am not prepared. Marlene, who's also got a great, oh my god. Wow, these guys really, really want to kill you with dragons. Here's Iroth, who's a dragon. And has dragon eyes. A gem ring resembling dragon eyes prevents abnormal statuses. When we transform into a dragon, this is one of the dragon equipment that goes along with the dragon shield. And the cold breath puts you to sleep. Fire does not put you to sleep. I, I don't know, no, fire still puts you to sleep, I'm pretty sure. We have Aerope, and Delkinos, and Malkatos. All dragons that we have to kill, uh, though we should prioritize Iroth because we want that dragon in gem. What? Now, what I would have liked to do, though it's in basically impossible at this point, is to uh, get Gaston as a, a dragon. A Dragoon. That was my hope for him. He could probably be a Dragoon, he just needs to lower his alignment a bit. Fortunately, we don't have another Urn of Chaos to do that with. Anyway, uh, let's actually take a look at Eleanor. She is a soldier right now. The basic class where all characters begin. She's got a hard necklace and a pearl necklace. No, this is hard leather, goodness. Pearl necklace. Rare lavender pearl necklace that gleams softly. It's water element. Prevents abnormal statuses. More or less a decent character. Yeah, time to outfit our army for this. Well, uh, let's get this going. This is going to be a little tricky. Time to protect Eleanor, no matter the cost. I would have preferred you to run backwards away from danger, but that is a reasonable way to run. Probably will defend you, as will Ivana. Hey Ninja can run all the way over here. And of course, they are focus firing on Eleanor. She is their target. I bet Ivana using the Claymore, by the way. Nice crit, uh, Ivana. Show that dragon what's for. You know, if I can get Gaston to kill every one of these dragons. He will be able to become a Dragoon if he gets too chaotic. I might have to try that. Oh, it's a good thing that missed. So, you may notice that they are going after Eleanor with a reckless abandon. In the original- in the Let Us Cling, almost every fight has a plot important NPC that you can, uh, rescue and enemies will try to murder them relentlessly. It's really bad. Like, it's, it's actually abysmal. 
Okay, Blue, your job is to keep Eleanor alive. And also keep us alive, but mostly Eleanor. We can afford to take a few hits. Right, we can actually check what the Fire Breath does. I'm pretty sure it puts you to sleep. Oh no, fire is confusion for dragons. I completely forgot that. It's, it is the Cerberus breath that makes you go to sleep. For some reason. Wow, this is so little damage. That's not good at all. I want to kill the archers before the dragons, if at all possible. But we're really going to be working on all of them. damage on the uh, on the wind dragon with wind magic. That's not a big surprise. We'll have Vecna support with the archers. Though that is less accurate. That is unfortunate. It's gone. Crush. You can have a snack, the nub. Heal up your magic. I'm honestly okay with the enemy healing because any turn that is not them doing damage is good by me. Wow, that blue dragon is trying to be sneaky. Oh, thank goodness for suicidal archers. Oh, right in the face. Now, I'm afraid of what this dragoon can do. Because dragoons are pretty powerful. And we don't get to see how much damage Gaston could have done. Darn guard. Okay, Eleanor is, uh, how is she doing? She's a little hurt. I should probably, hmm. Well, first off, And that needs to empower her, probably. Make her a little stronger. Ensure that we can really put the hurt on these dragons. Yeah, that's a significant boost. Though it may have be less of a boost on the fire dragon because it is fire element.
And funnily enough, the nub gets this kill. Well, after I move Data Ninja out of the way. Did I say the nub? I meant Demi. God, I... Another D name. Not that that's all that significant. D names are pretty easy to remember. That's another reason why I like the ice spells the most. They are pretty quick about doing their AoE. Yeah, let's have Blue help out with some magic. Eat that, stupid archer. careful not to kill our uh, Parsis here, because we do want to uh, kill all of his guys so that we can get their stuff. Ah, uh, dang it, Kassan, if only you were a little faster. How do you miss a 98% chance of it? In retrospect, I should have saw that coming. Oh no! Demi is confused. That means she will act at random. Which basically means she's just being given to the AI. It's like charm only. She can target friends and our enemies. Stop feeling, it's not fair. I've decided arbitrarily that it's not fair if the enemies get to heal and I don't. Uh-oh, poison breath. Oh, something I forgot to check is if, uh, Dragoons give, a, their anti-dragon aura to to, to... to dragons. Oh my god, that's... Hmm. That's not good. <laughs> I think, uh, confused enemies are forced to do physical attacks, at least. So, at least there's that. But yeah, um, we should... We should get our en our units away from Karsis. He moves at 4, so... We, we should be able to outrun him. That's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can't actually get Vecna away from the murder, the murder man. And it's a good thing I, I bought an altar of resurrection. Oh dear. It's also a good thing we have healing. Okay, Blue, heal Vecna so he doesn't die in one hit, please. <laughs> 
get it. That was a bit more damage than I expected. Oh no. Or if this can, uh... Oops, don't do that. Or if this can get behind Vecna. Sorry, Vecna, you might, um, die. Just a little bit. Let's kill Marlene. Ah, satisfying. Wait, can I do this there? Yes, I can. Dang it, it occurs to me that I Remove the spell from Deneb that can actually be pretty useful here. So silly of me. Yeah, let's empower Gaston. I don't know what adding firepower to a sword will a sword of ice will do, but it'll probably be useful. Please stop running away, Ice Dragon. I need to kill you. At least the Archer knows to heal herself. I hope you enjoyed living, Vecna. Oh, he, he's still alive. Barely, but alive. Right, then a uh, dummy has to move. All things considered, that's not actually that bad of a thing for a dummy to do. I, I do appreciate Eleanor is perfectly willing to just leap into the sea. You know, Vecna can't actually... Well, Vecna can't also kill Barbara. But I'll at least have Vecna start throwing... Oh, no, he's... Yeah, a help out with this dragon. I wanted uh, Vecna to help attack the blue dragon, but uh, can't do it with missiles. See, this is one of the issues with you having to move before using your attack. Blue really should go heal Vecna. But he can't, because then he will get targeted by the dragon. <laughs> There's nowhere for Blue to go that's safe other than here. Well, actually. Nah, yeah, can't go here. Eh, I'll, I'll put him here. It'll be fine. I just want to heal Havana. This isn't a hard fight, it feels like, but it is a very scary, dangerous fight.
Maybe if it's on the phone, maybe we're a little faster and you can kill this guy again. Oop, wrong button. Wait, when did I get the quick down? Oh right, Barbara is the one with the Sherwood hat. Okay. Dragons are a little more dangerous than archers, so let's kill them first. Oh, I could have Gaston heal back now. But I do want Gaston to be killing Dragon. Hmm. Kill Dragon. Well, almost kill Dragon. Both of the dragons are now super weak. Okay, that's an idea. Oh, right, the dragon has the main blue effects. But I could, I think, reach Barbara. Yes, I can. Let's charm Barbara. Have her help us out. Also, this puts the web in the line of danger, so the dragon might go after her instead of Ekna. Oh god dang it, that's so dumb. What is the point of status effects if that's gonna happen? And that's a dead fire dragon. I appreciate running to your death, Barbara. I would have preferred if you attacked Gaston instead of Dane Ninja. Dang it. Gaston is never going to get Dragon Scales. Okay, so he went after blue. That is agreeable. And blue takes less damage. It actually lands a hit. Eat that, dragon killer. Oh, back to normal power. And then he's back in our control, finally. I don't think the Neb can reach probably with a bonus to her weapon. Nope. I'll give it to Ivana. Make Ivana a little stronger. I'm okay with taking that damage because, first of all, level up. And second of all, Gasson can't reach the enemy yet, so he will be doing a heal. See, I got some degree of strategy. I'm not entirely uh, bad at this. I hope, I hope so, anyway.
And this should be the end of Barbara. I'm going to enjoy wearing your hat. Dang it. How did that work? Ice field doing decent damage with a water dragon. Fire would do more. Okay, blue. Oh no, he can't jump into the water from here. Oh no. The shit decision uh doctor heal myself. Not not gonna try saying that word anymore. Dragoon can only reach blue, so the dragoon will continue to hunt after blue. I'm, I'm really sorry to put you in this pers uh, in this uh, predicament, but it's to save everyone's lives. So I think it's valid. At least Blue keeps on being able to fight back. Eleanor, no, you can stay in the water, that's fine. Stay in the water. Using a cleric as bait was maybe inspired by uh, Min Mei last map. Because, as it turns out, clerics are pretty self-sufficient. Oh no, Deneb is out of MP, so she can't empower anyone. Just softening up the dragon so Gaston can swoop in and get the second dragon killer. Or third, I forget if he killed someone on the first map that had dragons. And there we go. All the enemies are dead, except for the... except for this jerk. So let's uh, start killing him! Dragon eyes acquired. I got a good hat. He had the option of going to punch Gaston as he went to punch Blue. And once again, Blue pains him across the face. Thank you for helping me uh, power up my priest. Tarsis has perhaps not understood the correct way to do violence. What you're supposed to do is make your enemy die, silly.
Ah, dang it. Sorry, dang it. <laughs> Not the best at throwing magic. Finally, the Ragoon goes back to fight Gaston. This will probably be the last exchange of this fight. Oh, no, the... Yeah, a bit more health than I expected. Uh-oh, flood! Sorry about that. Hello? They're all wet now. Now, who gets this kill? Isan has a lot of experience built up, so he shouldn't. You know what, Vecna, since you got brutally murdered by this guy, you get to kill him. Drop a rock on his head. Vecna's also someone who has the most kills on the team, so this is a little needless. I mean, we want a few kills to Gaston, but this was worth it. I would say she's worth protecting. She's a smart enemy. She, I mean, she, she's a smart ally. She ran away from the danger in Let Us Cling, all the important NPCs, many of which you have to keep alive so that the game doesn't end, go rushing into battle. Griffal is already our enemy, by the way. <laughs> idiot. Oh wow, that wasn't the full level. I guess it's a three under that you get a hundred experience for killing. And we get his fancy sword. And <laughs> we get an altar of resurrection. Thank you. That is appreciated. I, I jumped into the ocean, Gaston. I'm not alright. Eleanor knows where my breath. Interesting. Oh, and that pearl necklace of hers. Forever gave it to her. Okay, so Eleanor is obviously Forever's daughter. That seems pretty reasonable, I guess. Aw, what a sweet sentiment. Now this choice is actually a little important. As you may guess by the fact that she has a mysterious amulet related to the plot, she is an important character, far more than other characters. That being said, if you say B, she doesn't join you and she becomes not plot important and nothing happens involving her. Which is bad, because you need her to get the the true ending. So let's uh, let's recruit her. I'll protect you, Eleanor, no matter what. And we will be making our best to make use of her because she is a good unit. As you, oh wait, she's not actually officially part of our army yet. Oops. Let's see how Data Ninja is doing. Can we change you to a class? Not yet, no. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.